YouTube. So I have a current chatty makeup routine video for you guys. Haven't got any makeup on. Oh yes, and I've had a haircut if you don't follow me on Instagram and it's a little bit of a surprise. Cut it off. But um, I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna start with tying my hair up. So I've already moisturized my skin and I've got some lip balm on. And I'm going ahead and using the MAC Face and Body. I have it in the shade C3. Recent repurchase of mine. Haven't used it in a while since I was quite young. I'm excited to give it a go now. I do remember that I preferred applying this with my hands. But I'm gonna go ahead and use a Sigma brush just because it's easier, I think. This foundation has a really nice light coverage. So you can kind of build it up and I am actually going to go in with my fingers because I think it does apply a lot better. Really nice for summer too because it's, I think it's water resistant and you can use it on your body too so perfect on the legs. Then I usually like to move on to my brows and just let that sink in so I'm just going to groom through them. So you guys know that I love all of the NYX brow products but this one, the micro brow pencil, is what I've been reaching for recently and I have it in the shade Espresso. I always like to groom through them after just to make sure it's all blended and not too harsh. So most days I don't tend to wear any eyeshadow um, but I do sometimes do a winged liner. I'm using the L'Oreal Super Slim Perfect Slim Liner. I can never do this very well on camera, so forgive me, but I don't want to do anything too dramatic. One of my favourite pen liners. And as I get to the end, I'm just going to flick it up a teeny tiny bit. And I'm going to move on to my concealer. I've been loving the LA Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Pure Beige, I think it is. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit and I'm just placing a little bit under my eyes, around my mouth where I get a little bit of pigmentation and around my nose too. And again, because I'm liking that lighter coverage, I'm not using too much of this. And I like blending that in with my fingers because it just warms the product up and again, just makes it look a little bit more natural. Now I am gonna set the under eyes because I do wear glasses and it can crease a little bit. So I'm using the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. This is in the old packaging and I have it in the shade Medium Plus. And I have quite dry skin, so powders can be a little bit scary for me. But this one still leaves a nice glow. And it doesn't look cakey. And it adds a little bit of coverage as well. I've not really been contouring my face too much. Well, kind of, but with this bronzer. This is by Chanel and it's a cream bronzer. I have brush hairs in it, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've been loving this. It is quite orange, so be careful if you have fair skin. Just adds a nice natural warmth to the face. And then sticking with cream products, I'm using this NYX Cream Blush in the shade Tickled. And it's like a beautiful kind of orangey peachy. It's like NARS Orgasm, but in a cream blush form. So it's got that kind of gold shimmer to it. And for my mascara, this is a new purchase for me. It is the L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt. It was recommended by Tasha Green, so I thought I would give it a go. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it because I wear glasses and it can be a nuisance. But of course, go as crazy as you like. I am gonna actually powder and highlight all at the same time the rest of my face. I'm using this thing by Makeup Revolution and it is their Baked Bronzer in the shade golden days it's kind of like a blush highlighter bronzer all in one so I am gonna just pop that just here to set it and add color and highlight and do everything all at once and then on my lips I've actually been liking a lip gloss yes I don't normally wear lip glosses but um, of course I am using my Rimmel cappuccino liner and then on my actual lips I'm gonna use Mac fast play and you could just leave it like that but this new L'Oreal purchase, uh, lip gloss in the shade Nude Ballet. <gasps> I've been loving this combination. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up to subscribe to my channel whilst you guys are here. And stay tuned for more. Peace! Hey, it's just me again. I'm just letting you guys know that you can check out my last video by clicking on the box just there. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to click the subscribe button too. Peace.